October 2015. Now this will count if your sun sign is Aries or if your ascending sign is Aries. And October 2015 is possibly the best month of 2015. Does that excite you? I think that's pretty cool. But I'm starting the month you know, in a conventional organic way with the new moon. Now, um, my advice is to maximize your luck and continue upgrades. And actually, that's true for everybody. So, you, so that's uh, standard advice for October. Now, Mercury's retrograde till October 9th, when, and that started on the 17th. And so that's in red. So that's you know, kind of like a problem. Okay. Now, October 3rd through 9th, Mars is opposite Neptune. That's totally weird. <laughs> You're going to hear about that in a second. And October 4th through 9th, the Sun is square Pluto. That's our final test. Then we get into the better configurations, which is Jupiter trying Pluto, new moon, uh, 180 degrees that's opposite Uranus, Mars conjunct Jupiter, Venus conjunct Jupiter. If you know anything about Jupiter, it's, you know, Jove, it's fun, it's great. Then the full moon is also very good. So that's your nutshell for um, October. So let's, in a little depth here, in your horoscope, Aries, uh, Mercury retrograde, which is not the end of the world, but it does throw people back into research mode, and it's about troubleshooting. This has been in your seventh house of partnerships, so you've had to make up to people and apologize and deal with a weird competition. But that's going to end October 9th. Well, it'll never end, but it'll kind of end, at least for a while. Um, then what we have starting the 3rd of October through the 9th, the Mars opposite Neptune. Now, this is kind of like the flame and the methane. This is highly explosive. In this case, Mars in your sixth house of duty, job, and accounting means you're entrepreneurial, but Neptune in your 12th house is that you're getting all kinds of complex intuition going on too. So you're trying to balance the two, and it might be that people are saying one thing, but you're picking up on another. So just try to ignore that and try to manage this. This is kind of all about getting through these complex issues. October 4th through 9th, the sun is square Pluto. This is kind of our final test phase before we get into the good part of October. And in this case, also, sun in your seventh house, partnerships, social life is, you know, kind of creating some conflicts um, in terms of your career. So either you have to do less socializing and more focus on your career or, you know, somehow work it out. But it, it seems like career is going to be very important. Now we get into some good things, October 6th through 10th. Jupiter trying Pluto. In fact, this is the thing that I'm really excited about. I think it's going to be really great for everybody. Jupiter being good fortune, enthusiasm, Pluto being power and wealth. So there, you can see by that nifty triangle that there's harmony and creativity and protection, that these two things, that your job and your career at this point are really working well together. So you could be making some advances. Mercury goes prograde, that it goes back to direct motion on October 9th. And so this should be an improvement in your partnerships, your social life, in terms of competition. Now, here's the real beginning of the month is, uh, is the new moon. And this new moon is conjunct the star Spica. Spica is the, the shaft of grain being held by the agricultural goddess. I'll talk about that in a second. But this is a kind of a tabla rasa. It's open and receptive, expectant, anxious, prophetic, and tactic tactical, hopeful, wishful, but introverted. So you do want to make an effort to reach out, meet people, and, um, and kind of understand the competition, let's say. Okay, so this star is a really good star. It deals with things like science, agriculture, philosophy, also culture, music, and art. And the issues are hope versus cynicism. So I hope you come up on the positive end here. So my little blurb about this, and this is true for everybody, is that the experience residue that has emerged from, from the first part of the month, which might end up being a certain amount of betrayal, distractions, this can build strong characters, but you should be attuned to culture, science, and justice, the star spica, these arenas provide an interesting good life for everybody, particularly for you in partnerships. Now, one thing that's kind of interesting, you're like the wild thing of the zodiac right now because the planet Uranus is transiting your first house. So you're like got one step into the future. You're an innovator, you're reinventing, you're charismatic or eccentric. And so people maybe don't understand you, but you have your own thing you're doing. Um, October 14th through 20th, now we're going to see a, a series of conjunctions to Jupiter. First, Mars, which gives you a sense of enterprise, and this can be the beginning of a new bull market or a new uh, sense of enterprise in your work. And this is trying, trending up to Pluto, so you're able to access great power and wealth and trade secrets. And then Venus comes along and conjuncts Jupiter. Now, both these conjunctions usually happen only once a year. So for you, you want to max your benefits connected with your duty, job, and health. 
Here's the end of the month now is the full moon, and this is the second house, the full moon in your second house. So it's emphasizing survival instincts, materials, tools, and resources, and aesthetics in your life. Full moon, there's always a lot of drama, important partnerships, and a rich social life. So that's what you can expect in the full moon. Now, full moon is near the Andromeda galaxy, so you're expanding community views and ideas. It's also in the triangle, so there's interest in geometry or uh, righteous intentions. And then also near the heart of the whale, so you can feel the pulse in the center of life. Um, but most notably, the zodiac sign, it's in the, the, the horns of the ram, so you feel pride in nation roots and cultural heritage. And this could help you in some way build up your resources and help you make money. So overall, you know, this is the best forecast you're going to see from me all year. I mean, this is just a really good month. Take advantage of this full moon, huge conglomerates, because guess what? November, for everybody, signs of stoicism, sacrifice, everybody's going to have to toughen up. So that's my thing is October and November are completely different. So max your benefits in October. My name is Victoria Martin. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, that was one.